Hey, so today I wanted to talk about custom reports. So this will just be a quick little demo as we do offer this in our level 3 training. It's one of the topics we cover in that course. So what you see here is the default report template. This is just text only, uh, comes loaded with the software. And if you look at these icons here, you can see I've created a few custom reports and they just show up as icons right here. So this was just some testing I was doing. So what I want to do is show you how to create your own custom report. So looking at this part, there's one hole, you can see it there, that's out of tolerance. So I just wanted to do a quick one-off custom report highlighting that, uh, that defect and um, adding my own notes to the report. Okay, so let's go back to our report window. And I'll show you where these custom reports are stored. So it's important to remember that these custom reports are saved within the report. So they're, they're not independent, they're tied to this uh, program. So if we open up the custom report dialog here, the selection dialog, that little icon there, you can see I've got four saved custom reports saved with the program. So I can just delete these if I want. Hit delete on my keyboard. So I'm just going to get rid of all these because I want to create a new one. Okay, so let's open up the custom report editor. So that's found under file, reporting, new custom reports. Let's give that a click. Okay, here we go. So let's also open up our edit window. Okay, so it's important to remember that the edit window needs to be in summary mode or else this won't work. So what happens now is we have our blank canvas here and our edit window items. So what we can do is just drag items over the file header for example. We can center that so when this item is selected you can see those black handles, those square boxes around the item. That means it's available for editing. So I can move it around like this, or when it's selected, I can actually center it using the tools over here. Align center. So we have uh, horizontally, vertically. So I'll align it horizontally. Actually, let's move it up first. And then I can just realign that, just as an example. So you can see that's perfectly centered. So we can drag uh, dimensions over just like this all sorts of things like that okay so let's delete that and I'll just do my custom report so the custom report I want okay so let's go to that cylinder cylinder H okay so you can see I have two dimensions there that I'll work with I have the location which will be the diameter and the cylindricity which we'll use for graphical analysis Okay, so the other thing we can do in the custom report is insert an image of the CAD model. So this is a CAD re report object. So once you select the button, you just drag a box. And there's our CAD image. So this is a live image. I can zoom in if I want. So I think I'll do that just to focus on that circle there, that bore. Move it around, whatever works best. I can add a picture, so I'll add a little logo there, my company. So I select the picture or the image icon, drag a box, and then I can browse for my image on my computer. So there it is there, I'll just click that, open, you can see my company logo, click OK, and there it is. I can uh, frame the whole page with a box or a border I should say. Just something like that. And you'll notice the border overlaps or is over top of that image. What we can do is while it's highlighted we can actually send that to the back with this button here. So we can move an image to the front or to the back. So now it's behind so that looks a little better. So let's move this over as well. I'll just put that in the corner. Slide that down. Looks good. Okay, so let's highlight the fact that that's out of tolerance. So what I'll do is drag that dimension over. 
just like that. So you can see the results there. We can add a leader line, this line here, just to show that. And we can also add an ellipse that, so then it circles that uh, feature in question. You can add text boxes, this box, this letter A here, the text, drag a box. Well, that, that text is pretty small. We can adjust the size over here, size and style. Let's say 16, and then just start typing. There we go. So whatever text you want to put in there, just to communicate, and uh, it just makes for a quick one-off report. We can also add pages if I right-click down here, right-click, add tab. So now we have page two. Reduce the size over here, all sorts of tools. So what I want to do is, is um, show a graphical analysis of the cylindricity. So this is a dimension, the cylindricity of that, that uh, board that I've highlighted here. So on page two, what I'll do is drag a box over, which is the analysis window. So click the button, drag a box, and then I'll drag this dimension into the box and show the analysis. Another thing you can do is when you right click, you can select edit object. And then you have some uh, editing options here, like show min, max, deviations. So what I want to do is increase the multiplier. So this will make my arrows then larger to show the deviation symbols like that. So down here, I could actually put the results of the cylindricity and show the graphic image as well. Okay, so that's just a quick little demo. Uh, I just wanted to show you some of the tools in the custom reporting. We can save it under whatever name we want. My custom report. Uh, so that's saved with the program. So if I go back to my main view, actually my report window, then we can select that from the selection here. My custom report, open, and there we go. So then we can set up our print options, print it to PDF, uh, print it on a printer, whatever we want. So lots of new tools. It's not a tool that's used that often. Um, recently I've had a couple students and customers ask about it, so I thought I'd just make a quick video to show you some of the tools that are available. Okay, so thanks for uh, watching, and we'll see you next time.